morning on today's takeaway, we've assembled an all-star team of experts to help you spring into spring. We're going to show you how to get your home out of its winter ruts. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about a changing season without talking about fashion. We're going to help you transition from your winter wardrobe right into spring. Love this. But first, tax day only a few weeks away. Craig's in the orange. Yeah, room. believe it or not, off. it's almost here, right, Andrew? Here with savings expert Jeanette Pavini from coupons.com. She is here to tell us how to get the most out of our tax refunds. Always right. good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you. So let's, let's start here. Let's yes. start with investing. Where should we start with our retirement? Well, when it comes to your retirement, um, and this is a good way, you know, eight out of 10 people are gonna be getting tax refunds. So you wanna think about mutual funds, putting some of that money into a mutual fund that pays around 7% on average. $1,000, if you're 30 years old, will turn into over $10,000 by the time you're 65. So you really wanna think about something like a mutual fund, also paying down the principal on your mortgage, even $1,000, $2,000, yeah. it's gonna save a lot in interest over, over you know, the, the period. Of, yeah, it's Speaking great. of homes, I mean, that's that's the biggest investment that a lot of folks oh, have, yes. their home. Right. Uh, you say invest in your home, how so? Okay, Energy Star Appliance. It is going to save you money on your monthly energy bills, and it is going to increase the value of your home. Insulate your home. It does the same thing. It's going to increase the value. On to investing in your children's education then. Very important. 529 college plans. Excellent. It varies state to state, so you want to check it out. And there are also going to be some tax advantages. Extended education courses, things like computers or language for your kids. That's going to help them down the road. And let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. Some folks are going to splurge, so right? You want to have fun? Yeah, you, you want to have some money? fun with you that tax return money. That's right. Right. Well, here's my tip. What you want to do is travel in off-peak season. So travel to Hawaii, April to June. Still good weather, but, you know, better deals. Travel Europe after August 15th. Hmm. I will tell you, you're going to get a great deal. Look for coupon codes, sites like coupons.com. We also have, like, additional savings. And buy a family museum membership. You're yeah. going to save on a lot of museums. Jeanette Pavini, always good to have you. Good to, thank you. <laughs> Another splurge option to get, uh, get some new spring fashion while making the most of what's already in your closet, right, Angel? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Craig. I'm here with Marie Claire Senior Fashion Editor, Zana Roberts-Rassi. She's got ideas how to transition our wardrobe from winter to spring. Very important this time here. What are we going to start uh, with? I'm completely. I mean, you never know whether it's 25 or 65 outside. Very true. Changes day by day. <laughs> so the trench coat, something we've all got in our closets, and it's really easy to layer up for winter with the sweaters and the tank top and obviously a I've crop got one of these. <laughs> there you go. And then nothing says spring like a femme floral dress. Yes. Pop that underneath with this and make sure you have a little bit peeking out and so you really get the full effect of this gorgeous floral Easy. dress. Easy, love this. Easy, All right, easy. let's take a look. We have next, ooh, the shirt dress. So men's shirting is being a big trend on the runway. It's barely right. a runway that didn't have a white shirt on it. <laughs> Winter, you can wear it with the pants underneath, you lay it underneath, and you lay it over the top as well with the denim jacket and obviously the sweater. When it comes to spring, you want to peel back the layers and literally just play up accessories. So you've got the big earrings, the bag, the shoe, and cinch waist. The cinch waist is a big trend and it's something that's super flattering on every body type. Um, we all need a nice cinch. And by the way, big question, what's your thoughts on white? Do you have to wait till after Memorial Day before Absolutely Labor Day? Not, see, please. you heard it right here. No. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> all right, so let's see what we have third here. Uh, so then we have obviously the pleated skirt. Uh -huh. This is more of a statement than a basic, but something that's really great to transition from season to season. Here we have obviously winter cozy days, a nice chunky knit, a pair of tights yeah. and cute boots. Then when it comes to so spring, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> comes to spring and you want to just, you know, you want to go to a spring soiree. Right. Little tank, a nice tank that's got a little bit more of it, less than a cotton, a bit silky, clean legs, a nice espadrille, and you are ready for I love this. That is spring stealing one from my playbook right there. You can pair a t-shirt with almost anything. All right, we're going to toss it to Chanel. Take it home, Chanel. I love this. I'm here with design expert Francesco Bellato, who's going to share his expertise on how to get our homes out of that winter rut and looking like spring. Francesco, good morning to you. Good morning. So this is what a typical living room looks like during the winter, About right? About now, after we've been binge watching and like <laughs> yes. eating popcorn and just, I'm like the fur, the brown, the clutter. It's the clutter time to like springify with let's, a little let's DIY. springify. So with the magic of television, Come we on have over to officially the spring. springified. Yes. Now, where where do we start? This looks absolutely fantastic. First tip is obviously to contain the clutter. Get rid yeah. of all that mess. Get a beautiful tray, a box. You can put the remotes, the cords in there. A lot of times our coffee tables become sort of that place where you the eat, you work. And the you know, my place. Yeah. I'm so guilty of that. I wasn't going to say it on okay, air, but I'm you not. did, so it's okay. <laughs> so guilty. So you want to make it practical but pretty. Okay. Also a quick uh, couch sort of like flip, a sofa flip. New pillows, always your best friend. Literally, to reflip a room 
like this is about under 100 bucks. Little places like Wayfair, Bed Bath & Beyond, you can make things simple, affordable, stylish. And also mm -hmm. you want to springify with DIY. How do you do Remember that? Remember that? Five dollar craft store tape. Amp your lamp with some lampshade okay. magic. Just just a little bit of strip, a little bit of binding around. It just finishes it off, makes it beautiful. And then you want to bring the outdoors in. So okay. botanicals, botanicals, botanicals. Once again, craft store. Frame oh, a leaf. Look at this. Frame a leaf. It's no under way. five dollars. Under five minutes. Get the kids involved. And then also books. You know, you have a lot of books, beautiful things. Right. Roll a gift wrap is your friend, America. So just <laughs> wrap it in your favorite spring color. Add it in your space and you're ready to go. And it feels like spring. You know why I like this? Room, because the base is the same. You don't have to buy a new couch. You don't have to buy a new coffee table. Correct. Just the little things. Just the little things make a big difference. We even used the tape on this basic box. Oh, yes. So we went from basic to beautiful. I hate to be so cliched. No, it, but it's but. true. Francesca, you get an A. I get an A? You get an A. All this right. is fantastic. Thank you Alrighty. so much. Coming up, we'll be talking to these very oh, yeah. special pizza tossing prodigies. Look at this. That's coming up. But first, this is today on NBC. This is not good for my spring <laughs> Exactly. <laughs>